you and I were just chatting. You said, look, Manus, I get the sense there's a bit of frustration from the Saudis. They come to this meeting. Give me your sense of, of, of the time at the moment. So, Kali, the minister, when he uh, put together the deal in November, and it was basically three times as big as what most people thought was going to be the case, the expectation is that there would be a larger draw on inventories than what we've seen to date. They've effectively taken out 45 million barrels per month of supply. And there was an inventory build in uh, January, small draw in February, bigger build in March. But it hasn't been close to what was especially uh, thought to be possible by the time they got together now. So they're, they're under pressure to get the price up. Could, they, could we be shocked? I mean, could they pull something really substantial out of the bag? If I look at it, more non-OPEC comes on board, something more than 1.8 million barrels or something more aggressive than nine months. Al Masri, I just caught up with him upstairs. He just wouldn't commit. He wouldn't commit to the a la carte menu of nine and longer. Right. What could they pull out of the bag? On paper, uh, I don't think they're going to pull anything out of the bag. The, the inertia is to maintain the cut. On paper, by almost any kind of calculation, the oil market already crossed the Rubicon last summer. We've drawn stocks every month since, ja except for January. Yep. And the idea is that the cuts uh, and the effect on inventory should accelerate. We, we agree with that view. So at this point, it's more about maintaining the course than anything else. And from a historical perspective, and you have to kind of be aware of this, most people aren't used to the fact of OPEC pulling this much oil out of the market this quickly. In the 80s and the 90s, you'd meet multiple times in a year, two weeks at a clip, and compliance was a huge issue. That's really not the case. Is that the, the difference case. between 1990, when you saw sort of four and a half, maybe five million barrels come out, or the early 2000s? It is about compliance. Compliance is about 95% overall, but the Iraqis aren't playing the ball, really, are they? Iraqi was not even supposed to be part of this deal. They, given they have a civil war going on, uh, Libya's issues, Nigeria's issues, Venezuela's issues, the heavy lifting was expected to be the Saudis, the Kuwaitis, yep. and the Emiratis, which has proven to be the case. You would maintain that we're already in a deficit position. Al Masri, uh, I asked him, look, should we be thinking about how you exit? The Fed had to come up with an exit strategy. The ECB has been battered for one. He said it's too early to talk about it now, but they should begin to talk about it in September. Does that make sense to you? Well, it'll really depend on what inventories are doing at the time of the next meeting and then whether they need to unwind the cuts, because the exit strategy has a couple moving parts. Some people think there's going to be a much bigger response out of non-OPEC, uh, particularly the U.S. That's not a view we share, but that's fine. That's It's a market. Uh, there's a question about, with these cuts, if they're uh, going to actually last nine months as is, take inventories down too much. I know Vonnie's in, in a hurry. One last question. Sure. There is this view that Shell, every time we get to 50 bucks, oh, Shell, it's going to absolutely thwart the market. You have a different proposition. Put it to the market. Effectively, the issue of shale oil is that it was never going to be the long-term solution to supply. And if you think about it, it is a very short life resource. You know, in the U.S. right now, crude production is, let's say, 9.2. To stay at 9.2 million a year from now, they've got to come up with about 1.7 of new supply. That's how much you will lose from existing wells. Even the IEA has basically said, listen, in the next couple of years, we get some more growth in the U.S., and then it kind of peters out. We concur.